Alkenes are unsaturated hydrocarbons having the general formula CnH2n. We have seen the formation of alkenes. Now let's look at some of the reactions of alkenes. Alkenes give the addition reactions. Why? This is because all unsaturated hydrocarbons, they tend to become saturated. So alkene is an unsaturated hydrocarbon. It always tends to become saturated and this is done by addition reactions. Let's look at some of the reactions. So we have ethene. It is made to react with chlorine. So this is a chlorination reaction. We know that the unsaturated compounds, they tend to become saturated. That is, the double bond breaks into a single bond. So in this case, we have CH2, double bond CH2, which is ethene. So now, on reaction with chlorine, the double bond of ethene breaks. Each chlorine atom attaches itself to one, one carbon atom. So now in this case, the double bond of ethene breaks to form a single covalent bond. Each chlorine atom attaches itself to one carbon atom. So in this case, the unsaturated compound changes into a saturated compound. So now, when ethene is made to react with water, it again gives the addition reaction. How is that done? We have CH2. CH2, since now it's giving the addition reaction, the double bond breaks into a single bond and water is made up of H and OH. So the hydrogen atom goes and attaches itself to one carbon atom and the OH attaches itself to another carbon atom. So we get CH3, CH2, OH. So from ethene, we get ethanol. So on reaction of alkenes with some other compound, it gives the addition reactions. This is because the unsaturated compound always tend to become saturated. All organic compounds on combustion give the same products. That is, the burning of an organic compound in the presence of oxygen releases carbon dioxide gas, water and a lot of heat is released. So in this case, when we have ethene, when it is burned in the presence of oxygen, it releases carbon dioxide, water and also heat. So the products of the combustion reaction for all the organic compounds are the same. So complete the following reaction. In this case, we have C3H6. C3H6 is propene. We know all organic compounds on combustion. That is, on burning in the presence of oxygen, they release carbon dioxide gas. They form water and they release heat. So when we burn propene in the presence of oxygen, these are the products that are obtained. Another very important reaction of alkenes is the reaction with ozone. The reaction of an alkene with ozone is known as an ozonolysis reaction. This is a very special reaction. See how it takes place. We have ethene. It is made to react with ozone. Now, one oxygen atom goes between the two carbon atoms. So this takes up a position between the two carbon atoms and the other two oxygen atoms, they attach to each of the carbon atom. This product, which is obtained by the reaction of ethene with ozone, is known as an ethene ozonide. So when ethene is made to react with ozone, it forms ethene ozonide. Now I am sure you all have used polythene. Do you ever wonder how this polythene is made? Well, the name itself gives you a hint. It's polythene. That is, it is a polymer of ethene. 
so we get polythene from the polymerization of ethene we have ethene we take n molecules of ethene at a very high temperature and a very high pressure it forms the polymer that is we get ch2 single bond ch2 and this n over here shows that it forms long chains of ethene which we call a polymer so the polymer of ethene is polythene so this is the polythene that you use every day it is obtained by the polymerization of ethene so n molecules of ethene at a very high temperature and high pressure they form the polymer that is polythene now if we have two colorless solutions one is alkane and one is alkene and we have to differentiate between the two we know alkane is a saturated hydrocarbon alkene is an unsaturated hydrocarbon so how do we differentiate them if both are colorless compounds we use a special compound which is bromine solution in ccl4 that is carbon tetrachloride let's observe what happens so we add bromine solution in carbon tetrachloride in the alkane solution bromine solution is an orange colored solution it takes its color now when the same solution is added in alkene you see as the solution orange colored solution is passed it decolorizes so bromine solution in ccl4 this is used to differentiate the alkane from an alkene in alkenes it retains its original color that is the orange color in alkenes the solution which is an orange colored solution decolorizes so if we have two unknown solutions and we have to differentiate which one is an alkene and which one is an alkane we use bromine solution in carbon tetrachloride so one very important use of ethene as we had mentioned before is in the formation of polythene polythene is obtained from the polymerization of ethene so if we take ethene at a very high temperature and high pressure we get the polymer which is polythene so this is one very important use of ethene